We all know God's precious earth needs help, right? Well, one of the ways that you can help is by, by reminding the adults at church to do the right thing. Do you have a plastic police or environment officer at school? If you do, it's the same kind of thing. At the end of the service, walk around and make sure all of your church's lights are turned off. Make sure the heaters are turned off as well. You might even need to put some stickers on the switches to the lights to remind people. After morning tea, ask if the hot water urn can be turned off. Or turn off the fridge if that's empty. Collect the coffee grounds, tea bags and food waste and send it home with someone to go to their worms or compost. Make sure that people aren't putting plastic cans or glass bottles in the bin. They should go in the recycling. And if they're in good condition, you might be able to take them to the, your local return and earn and get some money. Meanwhile, make sure there are no coffee cups or other unrecyclable things in the recycling bin. Collect any plastic bags or soft plastic separately and they can go in the bins at the supermarket. If you want to be really clever, talk to your Sunday school or youth group leaders about doing an energy and waste audit of your church. You can borrow one of these energy monitors and measure how much energy all of the devices in your church use. Or go through your church bin with some adults supervising, make sure you wear gloves, and sort out the kinds of waste into recyclable, non-recyclable and organic. Are people putting the right things in the right bin? Report back to your church service and let them know how they are doing and how they can improve. If people are cold in church, ask some people to knit some blankets that can be handed out. And if you find cold air coming in anywhere, make sure you ask someone to make a draft snake to plug up the gap. Make sure your church printer or photocopier has recycled paper in it and ask if the toilet paper you have can be switched to the brand Who Gives a Crap. Ask if your church has switched to green power and if they can put solar panels on the roof. Put a bird bath or tray of water outside to give animals something to drink and plant lots of flowers for the bees and the birds. Once your church has done all or some of these things, Tell an adult to apply for a Five Leaf Eco Award for your church and I'll be able to come and give you a certificate to say thank you for caring for God's earth.